And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Taric Draven. That's right, we're going to go ahead and bring this deck back. We've done really well both times that we've played this deck. Recently, we've been playing the Draven Overwhelm, uh, which is similar to this, but then with uh, Darius at the top end. But basically, just, you know, this Noxus and Targon Shell of an aggressive deck. We've played just a few different versions, and it's always been pretty good. We're going to be playing this one with Taric because, you know, Taric, of course, now has three power. So we're trying out different Taric decks. Uh, making two changes since the last time that we played this, we are um, taking... In, uh, we had three Guiding Touch, two Transfusion. We're just switching that up, going the other way around, getting the third Transfusion in here, and then adding in one Culling Strike, because this is a pretty good Culling Strike metagame with a lot of people playing Ezreal and Tom Kench, Soraka, stuff like that. So we're going to get rid of the ninth one drop, get rid of a Precious Pet for that. Um, but yeah, you know, like we're just going to be... Uh, we're going to be trying to curve out be aggressive and attack with Draven, Taric, Kato the Arm. Yeah, this is going to be a big part of our deck are these three cards together. Might is awesome with Taric as far as finishing games out pretty quickly. Giving that Taric plus three plus zero overwhelm, copying that over, we can give something else plus three plus three, or sorry, plus three plus zero and overwhelm, maybe a Draven. Um, and yeah, let's just curve out, attack, and be efficient. That's the goal. So we'll see if we can go 3-2 or better. Looks like today's been a pretty good day. 3-2 with both of our decks. So we're ranking up. All right, playing against some scouts. All right, we're going to keep the one drop, keep the Kato, and then hopefully find some other twos and threes with our mulliganing. I'm just going to take the trade. Flea Feather Tracker is a really powerful card. I'm going to just take the trade. Um, Raise your weapon, sun let's go Soldier and next turn have Mountain Goat Transfusion. Another Flea Feather Tracker is kind of rough. Glad not misfortune, you know, or bright steel protector, or anything like that. Hmm, that's too bad. That's too bad. What a hand. This does not look good for us. That was a... That was a good hand. Wow. Yeah, this is a really good hand. Fortune deck. Let's see. Maybe do this this time. Keep the guiding touch. I could see guiding touch being pretty good here if they're you know doing a little bit of damage to something like Terra to keep it alive. Draw a card. Staying at 20. Right. 
Alright, good draw. Knows me nine. And I'll just pass for now. I'll shoot the wings off a bilge wasp. Careful where you point that thing. Yeah, I think I pass. If I attack and trade with the 2-2 right now, then they can go to open attack and do 2 damage to me. Now if they go to attack, they're Looking not doing trouble. 2 damage it to me. Because they're only... Don't need yeah, you know, now they're doing 2, but you know, if these would have already traded, they would have been able to attack with all these. Um, kind of need another unit in play Love ya. for my Taric. I'm gonna go like what Tarek Pale Cascade. Don't worry, I am here. I think Tarek Pale Cascade. Dazzling. Yeah. Could go Might also, but we'll save Might. Unyielding. That you got there. Run while you can. I'm not playing Kato this turn. We're gonna we're gonna play you know multiple things, so probably leading with Solari Soldier. Just me. Um Bless the people and fear the heretics. So I can only spend three mana this turn. No mercy for heretics. Fourteen. Do I want Grenadier or Mountain Goat in play? <clears throat> I can only play one. I can't play both because I need next turn. I need Kato plus Might. That's the go. Right, three, four, five, six, seven. So we will we will level up Tarek, but we won't get the bonus because it won't be until Remember the after. The few for the many. Look sharp. Never submit. I give you muscle. There is nowhere left. These are all overwhelmed. 21 overwhelm damage coming in. Don't you dare run. Your path ends here. This is why, you know, like, it's kind of the strength of our deck. You know, Tarek plus Might, um, plus Kato. It's pretty strong. Gotta go with the flow. Hoping the Guiding Touch can kind of save us. Oh, I like that Cooling Strike. Fresh out of mercy. Fade and be gone. That could be important. Let's see what they do here first, though. Perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping that we could be able to trade with an auction fervor, you know, like respond to an auction fervor with that. Perfect. Another fervor. Hell of a day. Four life. Basically, can I can I play Kato? And not have Guiding Touch right now. I don't think, like, three mana, they can't do four damage, I don't think, right? Eight power overwhelm should get him, and yes, it does. There we go, one and one. That was a good win. 
because that was a good hand that they had. All right, let's go on to our third game. And uh, go on over to Gangplank. Now, Gangplank said 20. Let's keep the goat and the pill cascade. And didn't I just say to Mulligan Might and Captain Over and Captain Farron? Say to Mulligan those. So we're scared of Mega Rain. I don't want to play Draven and have no protection for Draven. We'll play the Mountain Goat. And have a little bit of protection. So you now like this next turn. Oh, okay. That's how it's gonna be. The party has arrived. I'm not greedy. My friends though. How do I want to do this? Got access, need victim. Find me a favorite loop. Cool. Got four damage in on them. Didn't think they would be blocking the Draven, so the gem would be good. And of course, with having like Might, Fell Cascade, all this kind of stuff, like this, this uh, extra damage could be vital. I rarely forget, I never forget. Don't have anything to play right here. Hmm. Watch and learn. the money makers I could see them just taking the five that's why I'm doing this proactively because I could see them just taking it and then I don't get to do anything when they'll die of boredom <clears throat> Man, I shouldn't use I shouldn't use the Oh, I shouldn't use how how I use like the spinning axes, discard a spinning axe. If I would have just kept a spinning axe, I could have killed them here. You know, cuz this is putting them down to 3. Okay. I guess not. I guess they would have Gone down to one still because the Yordle Grifter. Taking my Pale Cascade. I should have discarded the Captain Farron with the first one. Still, I would have leveled up Draven. Whoa, Kitty Dexterity with the bits. Y'all get some hype in the chat. Man, stop stealing my good cards. Mana? 
be nothing left when I'm done. Just the screams of a dying. Explosives primed. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be uh, trying to kill them this turn. I, I don't have to really worry about Riptide Rex, I don't think. Uh, that's, you know, more of a problem. All right, so that's going to do three damage. This has got to work. Basically gotta work. I'm gonna catch gotcha. you. Zoom to one. All right, cool. Yeah, we'd be able to spinning axe the Draven, and you know, obviously we we could transfusion the Draven as well. So there we go. Me. And maybe those other guys. Whatever. Two and one. Is what happened. It all worked out. But I guess, yeah, I guess I could have had, if I didn't play Saboteur, I could have had Culling Strike for the powder kegs for Make It Rain. I guess that's true. Leona Diana. This looks like a pretty good hand. No one mana card. Never mind. Had it the whole time. I have my orders. Ours is the one true light. Devotion to battle. Timing is everything. Let's take the trade. It's possible I just don't play the two drop. And then be able to have Pill Cascade for Draven. I have the best job. So that if they play 3-6, I would still be able to attack. Wax or wane, we do not do change. Meet destiny. Okay, I was gonna say I can't really think of anything. Yeah, even if they have like sharp sight, you know, like that's still a good attack with sharp sight because it's spinning axe. So I couldn't really think of any reason not to attack. I know these paths well. That pierce the heavens. No. Ouch. That worked out really well for them. I'm gonna go with the Legion Grenadier and Crescent Guardian instead of playing Kato. Bask in her I was thinking, like, I, if I play Kato, they have, like, Sunburst, and they just, you know, trade for Kato, then I'm looking at only attacking with the Draven. Oh, this could maybe work out a little bit better. Probably not passing. Face your heretic. I don't think I can keep both of them alive. So I can either kill both of theirs and keep my Grenadier alive. So trade Draven and kill both of those. Or I keep Draven alive, but then they also get to keep Diana. So I can trade like these two or that way. Probably better to kill both of theirs. And then 
and keep Grenadier instead of Draven. <clears throat> Alright, next turn we're gonna have seven mana. Exercise caution. It's, I can see they're playing block here at single combat. The mountain goat. I can see that this be their plan. The wrong path. <sighs> Do not stray. So I'm down to two. We're gonna go for the win though, and, and make them force them to have that. I'll just use these spinning axes that, that they know about. So I do have Captain Farron for next turn anyway. If they do single combat, they have to use the 5-5. Five five. Okay, they have Hush. Alright, so I will use Phil Cascade to keep the Grenadier alive. I was hoping they were going to like have single combat with the two three and try to fight here, and then my pale cascade would, would, uh, you know, keep it alive. Daylight everlasting. I'll break the siege. Go get him, Captain Farron. <laughs> hey, Sadie. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Alright, there we go. Captain Farron finishes it out. So we're three and one. Alright, playing some spooky karma. I'm gonna mulligan this saboteur against the spooky karma deck. Darn. Because they, they do a great job doing one damage, right? And so like all their you know, go hard and all their things that do one damage. So I was going to just mulligan this. That's the, uh... That's the second time that we have mulliganed to cards and got them right back. Yeah, Karma denied the mulligan. This may be a, a classic. We draw all of our. Yeah, we draw all of our one mana cards against the control deck. Is that going to be the classic? It's only one drops, and they can kill one drops pretty easily. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. We swim within the flows of magic. It's giving me like Fell Cascade as well. Of course, best case scenario is we have Pale Cascade going on the Taric. Each life a rare jewel. I need to turn on Nightfall. Um, so I guess we're going with the Transfusion. Can we stop drawing one drops? Like I was I was joking about that earlier. Never I wasn't serious. I just want to do all this before vengeance, right? I didn't want to Yeah, so like that's why I couldn't play like one drop, because then they could just play vengeance. So I had to go to attacks before that. We'll 
bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Bless the faithful and sear the heretics. No one's the wiser. I thought they were going to play Go Hard on this Precious Pet, to be honest, so that's why I played that over the Saboteur. I would have had, rather had the two Saboteurs there. Devotion to battle. Boom. By force of will. Put him to zero. There we go. GG's. All right, four and one. Terror Draven getting it done. All right, good rank up Thursday. <laughs> So yeah, basically, like I, like I said, like we have always just done really well with these Noxus Targon decks. Like these are just these are just the decks I'm doing the absolute best with for sure with the Draven deck. I think before this, weren't we ten and zero with Terek Draven before this? I was looking at that. I think I think we had never lost with Terek Draven before this. But then you know we lost the first game, so I think we're fourteen and one with this deck now. That first game that we lost was just a ridiculous hand too with that uh, Double Fleet Feather Tracker. Lucian Senna, and then also, of course, the 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 uh, star shaping or not star shaping, whatever that the card that saved Lucian, the two mana card in Demacia, <clears throat> and then you know Lucian Senna misfortune, and then Rally. It was a ridiculous hand that we lost to, um, but yeah, this one, this one, uh, it's it's just a good deck. It feels pretty good. I mean, Tarek. Tarek's looking good now with the new 3-4 Tarek. I'm really been, I've been really impressed with the new Tarek. Played it yesterday, today. I've been very impressed with new Tarek. Sharp Sight. Yeah. So, pretty sweet deck. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. And, of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this one. If you've been playing this deck since we've played it a couple of times with some success, if you were somebody on YouTube who picked this up yourself, let me know how it's going. I really want to hear that feedback. Um, you know, let me know how the deck's playing for you and all that kind of stuff. Got any questions, comments, love to hear. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Tarek Draven, and I'll see you for the next video.